beginning part of the season kind of sucked. The winter was not as good where I was at. And then we got up to Alaska and it was just like Phew. Just you and a couple of buddies flying around the endless mountains in the world, thinking about the possibilities that could happen in the future. The biggest feeling in the world to be out there is and just try to push your limits outside of anything that any of us are used to. Because Alaska is deep space, but it's every skier's dream, it's the Mecca. This was the first one of the whole trip. Kind of flipped out of the end and did a front flip out of the landing. Still just stoked that I was all good and could shred another line the next day. The first avalanche came right after this. Instinct takes over at that point. You're not really doing much but letting your brain take over. wasn't too serious, but then a lot of slough was going. And you give thanks that it was manageable, because when it rips out, when it's unmanageable, that's when it gets serious. And it was wild to see all that snow crack, but still be able to hold an edge and keep going. And boom, bomb, shredding on down to the helipad. It was a great run. And you're sitting right at the edge of it and you're looking at terrain like that and just beautiful earth sculpted in a way that you just can't even describe. It's a whole lot different up there, you know, there's a lot of more variables than anything else, but when you do it right and you play it safe, it's the funnest skiing in the world. So it's good to look out in the distance and give thanks for the opportunity of being there, but then you gotta look down and put your skis on and really focus. hard to get that, but when you get it, everything works out and it's perfect. It's beautiful. That's the dream. That's what we all live for if you're a skier. And it's just pure bliss. You can't really buy that feeling. And I've said that before, but that's true. That feeling right there, that's priceless. Mm -hmm.